Hi there YouTube, the Yorkshire reseller here. Just want to show my pickups that I've had over last bank holiday weekend. Uh, a little bit of an overview there first. Then we'll get into what I've got. There's not a lot of stuff there as you can see, but there is some good money there. And they pay out on a few things knowing that the money was there. So we'll start back over this side. Uh, first thing i got here, i got two Playmobil little play sets. They've got the night and things like that in there, and then this one's just got a few police bits in there and a few more figures. And it's like a, an official Playmobil carry case. I paid £3 for the two of those from Carboot. Uh, next one is just a bit of a book bundle. This is a little ready made bundle, 1 to 5, the Spiderwick papers, Chronicles. And I got 1 to, one to 5 on those and two Harry Potter books and I paid £4, £3 for all of those I think it was so not too bad uh, I think I'll go towards the back first uh, charity shop I got a Duplo bundle and it's like a bit of a, a tower with a knight and a few more bits in the bag I don't think it's fully complete, but I've only paid £1.99 for that, so that wasn't too bad on that one. Uh, next thing from Carboot Sales, I got two board games. Spit Image board game, I paid £1.50 for this, I believe, and I thought it would have a little bit more value in it than what it has, known by quite an iconic 80s TV programme. Um, I think it's about 10 I want to say 15 but I don't think it's as much as 15 and it definitely had about 10 to 13 pound in it but yeah not as much as what I thought it would be so it's complete I've checked that one so that's that one and then a Scrabble Deluxe one and this is I paid £1.50 for this one I believe it was and this one's the one with the, the ridge board which is a better board to get I haven't checked tiles or anything on this but I'm pretty sure it's going to be complete it's nice and tidy, the box is a bit tidy, but the rest of it's okay. Uh, Mr. Potato Bundle, I paid one fifty for this from Charity Shop. Just bog standard, normal type stuff. Uh, shape Sorter, 50p. Unfortunately, it's only got eight of the shapes, but for 50p, I wasn't going to leave it in the Charity Shop. So I've got that one. Speed Stacks, these were from... Kabu on Monday, I think it was, and I paid 50p for these. And the same with the two Nerf guns at the back. I paid 50p on the both of those. Uh, slowly move, actually I'll do this one first. I picked up quite a large poly pocket. It's not one of the better ones that I've picked up. I'm not sure whether it's all working properly. But yeah, it folds out and I think this thing, you make a move it around and it makes things pop up and jump out and stuff not sure where it's all working but that bit folds out this bit folds out no figures i've got a lot of poly pockets up in the loft that i need to sort out and i might just add this to one of the bundles after i give it a bit of a clean up but i only paid a pound for that and it is quite a large one so it should attract a few views i think just by the size of it so that's that one uh next one sony walkman I paid two pound for this one I haven't checked it yet, and this was from a Monday car boot sale. On that, uh, two games, I paid 50p each for these. So you got Tomb Raider and Crash. That is just the Platinum Edition, so there's no special in that, but it is immaculate. So yeah, 50p. Wasn't going to leave that, that behind at all. So that's those two. Uh, next thing I picked up was a bit immediate. Got a packet of tips there, 99p, five of them, so that should be all right. And then a whole box full of these Sony MP Video 8 cassettes. Most of them all new and sealed, two of them have been used, and she wanted five pound for them, and I give her four pounds she took on them. So I think, I can't remember how many there was now. There's a few more that are a bit different there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and two used ones for four pound. So yeah, 
they should do all right on that. I've got a lot of sealed media that, like this that I need to get bundled together and get on and sort through. But I'm just snowed under with all backlog of early of the year's buys. Uh, moving on to my fair bit of a camera haul now. Uh, some good buys in here. Um, start off at this one. I paid £3 for this at the back. And it's a little micro miniature camera and I can't find one of these at all on UK eBay. The only one I've seen is on American eBay and they were asking over £100 for it. Can't see it being that much. I'd, be, I'd, love, it. I'd love it if it was but I can't see it being that much. A little tiny flash and these are the film cartridges. Yep, so I paid £3 on that. Comes in a nice little case. Uh, these back four cameras I paid £10 from charity shop. And this one's like an old fold out Kodak. Oh, it's going to come out for me. Yeah, but old fold out, fold out Kodak. Not a lot of value in them, but I just put it in as a bundle and it makes a nice little piece to put on as props and things like that. So that's what people mainly pick these for up or display items in pubs and things like that. So that's what that one's for. Back one, I've still got to test these, is a 7 me me megapixel Pixar boxed. It's in nice tidy condition, I have no real marks or anything on it, but I've still got to test that one, see if it works. So that's that one. This one's a little Miju. These ones are ones to look out for, you can just get a Miju 2. There, there you go for quite good money. This one's a Miju 3, 120 zoom on it. It's nice, clean, nice, tidy. I, sh I should be looking at getting about 15 to 20 back on that, possibly. It's got a nice little case with it. So that's that one. Uh, this one is about 25 to 30. I should possibly could get back on it. So like I say, I paid £10 for the three of these. Uh, and then there's this one, which I think is a, a Practica. Now, the body's worth nothing. The main thing I got it for was the lens, this prime lens. So there's a decent little bit of money in the lens. Let's say 15 to 20 back on that lens and the body is worth nothing. Amazing really. Lenses are worth more than the bodies. Um, so they were from a charity shop. Um, car boot sale pickups. I picked up this one. Another little digital for 50p. Oh, I can't get this one out. So yeah, I paid 50p on that little Fuji film. It's 8.3 megapixel. And a lot of the time, if these digital cameras, even though there's not a great deal of value in them, I pick them up on the off chance that they have the memory cards in. Because you get a few memory cards together and you do a nice little bundle of memory cards, you can get some good money for the memory cards. So, something to look out for when you're checking cameras and things. Have a look inside, see if memory cards are still in them. Just obviously clear them off any photographs that are on there if they haven't already been done. And yeah, just part them out. So, yeah, pay 50p for that one. Um, another one I paid £4 for this one and for this one, so it's another Olympus Miju Zoom, so about £12 in this one. And let Flash, Olympus Flash, probably anywhere between 5 to £10 on that one. And let's say I paid £4 for them too. Um, moving forward, I got an Olympus card reader. I'm probably going to keep this for myself. To be fair, it's a USB, uh, USB fit. So yeah, it's a card reader, and I paid again four pound for the two of these. So I think I wanted three for that and four for that, and I got end up getting them both for four in the end. Uh, they about six pound in that, but like I say, I'll probably keep that myself. And this one is another nice little camera, Canon. Power shot, A480. So yeah, no, no scratches. Nice condition. A few little marks on the back of the screen, but I'm sure they'll polish out. Yeah, so that's that one. And moving forward to getting on the last few now. This one I got these on Saturday from car boot sale that I go to, and I paid twenty two for this. Uh, I looked at it to start with, they had 25 on it, I offered them 20, they won't go 20, they said 22, I said yeah I'll take, go for 22, but when I first looked at it, I walked away, did a bit of research on it, and uh, had a check on this flash, it's a Mets, which is a, a, a 
decent make for a, for a flash. So I had to check on this one first, and this is going for about 15 to 18 pounds for the flash alone. Another little flash, not a lot of value in this. Maybe about five, six pounds in that one. This I'll just bundle in with some other camera accessories that I end up getting because nothing really much there. And the other thing that I really bought it for was the lens that's on it. It's an ultra ultrasonic um, Canon. You can see that 28 to 80, and it's nice and clean. And there should be about 20 to 30 pound in that. So just the lens and that other one alone, um, money back and a bit of profit. Body, again, not a lot of value in that body. What I'll probably do, which is what I always do, is I'll take the strap off, sell strap separately, um, keep that body, keep body off the other camera, get a few bodies together and just do a, a bundle of camera bodies and do a job lot that way. And then, so that was that one. And then I think my find of the weekend was this one from a charity shop. And I'm, they normally keep things back for me. And I always pop in every now and again, see if they manage to pick anything up. And this time the hard, this is the only thing that she, she said to me, this is the only thing I've had in. I don't know if it's any good for you. It might not be any good. So just the bag alone, there's probably about a tenner in the bag, a low pro bag. It's a good little camera bag. Yeah, about six to 10 pounds in the bag. Just no, no marks, nice clean tidy. It was this. Um, so I had a look of it, I was interested, obviously. I asked how much she wanted, she went, you just make me offer, like you normally do. And I said, I can't really test it at the moment. Will you take four pounds? She went, yeah, that's fine. So I'll give her the four pound for it. Got home, tested it, was working fine. Checked on eBay, and these are going for about 120 top end. I might have seen a couple more go for a little bit more, but yeah, top end about 120, max, max 131 or two but a lot of them 120 and below. So that was one of my finds of the weekend. So from four pounds to 120, it can't be bad. I just need to make sure all the functions are working right and then I'll be getting that that on pretty soon. So yeah, that was my um, bank holiday weekend haul. Like I said, not a lot of stuff, but some good valued stuff there. I should get some decent returns on that. So thanks for watching people and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.